Today we're going to do React for complete utter need. <laughs> okay? And I'm not going to go super deep into state or whatever. I'm not going to... I'm mainly just going to show you some code and hopefully get you excited. Okay? So we, we will do that. Let's start with an example. Maybe an example that hits close to home. Okay? Because everyone here had to do the MyTube assignment. And on the MyTube assignment, you had to make 18 pages of, I think it was something like that, of uh, videos. And and at a certain point, you're like, why the fuck am I copying over <laughs> all this fucking shit just so I can have 18 different pages of, uh, of, of shit? I, I don't want that. I want just like to dump the data in one place, edit the data, and everything else updates. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I figured out what we're going to do. We're going to build a shitty MyTube, but with React instead of HTML, and maybe that'll give some insight as to why React is cool. Okay, so uh, start. Going to go here. Going to exit out of here. Pew, 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 pew. Um, NPM create the at latest. We're going to call this MyTube Elevated. We're gonna do React, we're gonna do TypeScript, open up, uh, well, we'll do this in uh, Vim. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our app. And the very first thing you'll see is everything looks red and shitty. Why does it look shitty? Well, it looks shitty because we have not uh, NPM installed yet, but after this gets fixed, you're gonna see this very much so just looks like well, this is a JavaScript function, right? Here, JavaScript function. And this JavaScript function returns HTML. That's great. So what am I gonna do? Well, we're gonna make a stupid header and we're gonna make a place for videos, okay? So what I'm gonna do is in my header, we're just gonna go ahead here and I'll make an H1 that says my tube. And this is gonna have some styling kind of already built in. I'm just going to use that styling. I'm not going to go super deep down the styling, mainly because I don't think that there's a great reason to uh, to, to stress about that right now. It's not going to teach you anything. So uh, the goal here is really more about, uh, hang on. Is there like a V around URL? That'd be cool. Uh, anyways, um, we're just going to go to this file. Uh, well, whatever. 5173. Okay, so now we have an HTML with my tube on it. And let's just go ahead and now I'm going to make a container for videos. Okay. And let's do it with one set of videos and then maybe we'll do more. But for now, we're going to make a section on this section. Whoops. On this, what the heck? Come on. Come on. On this section, maybe we'll have an H3 and it's gonna say the name of the section. So maybe we'll we'll be like, cool, these videos are gonna be karate videos, whatever. And now in here, I'll have a div called the videos container. Uh, that's fine. I really, Copilot is pissing me off to be honest. Um, and here we'll call it class name. We'll call it videos, video group, we'll call it. And then in here, we'll have a few videos. So what are we going to do for these? Well, we're going to go to do it the shitty way. I'm going to go to karate video. I don't know. I'm not thinking that aggressively about this. I'm going to go here. And this bobblehead is just we're gonna trumpinator bobblehead. <laughs> All right, everybody, <laughs> get your get your wallets out, everybody. Um, okay. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead share this. We're gonna embed it. So we're just gonna copy all this. And if I do this right, do 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 do, I should have a video here. And for now, we're just gonna do this. And if I look at it, yay, I have a video. And I'm just going to do three videos. So let's make three of them. Okay, let's do one. 
This guy. Oh my gosh. Calm down, bud. Do do do. And we'll do one more. Good old martial arts tier lists. Yeah. None of those existed. Exactly. Boom. Copy. And hopefully all this works. We'll find out. Maybe we've got a bad video here or there or whatever, but whatever. Okay. So I got all these things. And if I did it right, I should have three videos. Great. Looks fine. I don't have any complaints. Except for I want to change the width of them. So I'll change the width of all of them. This one's going to be four. This one's going to be four. This one's going to be four. Okay, that looks a little better. And then maybe we'll take the width of this container, which I could do this with a actual the CSS. So we'll go ahead. We'll say that my video group is going to have a width of 100%, a display of flex, and a gap of 20 pixels. So now I get these little, this is my little section for karate videos, okay? Well, here's the thing. Right now, this is a lot of code. And if I wanted to copy and paste it, I could keep it going. But then if I want to change, let's say I want to change the style of a video group component. And I do this three times. I go, all right, we're going to have a video group. We'll have, or sorry, we'll have one for karate videos. And actually, let's call this class name equals video section. So let's say we have three video sections. Boom, boom, boom. Everything works great. We got karate videos, and let's just assume I update it so I get different videos, right? Everything works great. But what if I want to change the way that one of these looks? Well, guess what? I'm kind of, I'm going to have to refactor all four of these. That's not fun. Enter one of the cool parts about React, a component. So I know that if I have one of these, right? I know that if I have one of these, that I could pull it out into something that's reusable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export a cut called video section. And in here, I'm going to take in a list of videos. So in here, we're gonna pass in a list of videos. And really all we need for videos is that source. So I'm just gonna say it has a source of a string. This is just TypeScript stuff. Don't stress too much about that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out one of these sections. Whoops. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to put this here. And I also need a label for it. So I'm going to need a label for the section. And that's going to be a string. So if I go to here. And actually, let's make a type for this. This is a video. Type video equals that. And here we're going to say this is a video. Label is a string. Cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start reusing shit. So in this H3, I'm just going to render whatever label I pass in. Right? Uh, and I need to destructure it from here. And now what I'm going to do is Instead of rendering all these iframes manually, I'm going to map over the videos that I have. So I'm going to say videos.map for each video. Let's poop out one of these. But now, instead of hard coding all this stuff, we're going to take the source and we're going to use the video's source that we pass in. But boom. Video as implicitly any type. Oh, because this is a video array. Now we're happy. And now this allows me to start expressing less things as uh, less things as um, hard coded HTML and more things as data. For example, I could go in here and say, all right, let's make a video section where my videos is going to equal
an empty array for now. We'll figure that out in a second. And the label, we're just going to call this karate. And now what I could start doing is, how about instead of copying that whole embed link, I just copy this. So we're going to say that the first video is going to be a source of that. Let's see if that worked. Uh-oh, didn't like that. I may have to copy it from here in order to get it to work. Yeah, because I need the embed. That's fine. Not a big deal. And now we've got a boom. Looks like looks great. So now I can just capture all these videos with this one line rather than everything else. We'll show you why that's valuable in a second other than the obvious reasons why it's valuable. But just to show you, I got this one, I got this one, we'll get three. Share, embed. Do, 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 do. Copy one of these, put in here. Now we're gonna use the, that one. We'll do one more. Do, 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 do. Copy this. And now, guess what? I have three videos showing. Cool. That means if I want to make another video section, all I need is those videos. That means that if I want to store all my videos somewhere, Let's make a uh, videos thing. We'll call it videos.ts. And maybe in here, we can actually store them as categories or something like that. So let's do videos data. And on here, I'll tell you what, we'll have a category is going to be karate and the videos. And we'll copy that array from the other one. Now what I could do is I could say my videos, I could make this even more dense. I could say my videos data dot map for each video data, really categories data is what it should be, but that's okay. We're going to make a video section where the key is going to equal the video data dot category or something like that. And the videos is going to be equal to video data dot videos or video data. Oh, what I mess up? Video data. What's going on here? Oh, it's this. And then I'm missing a label. So my label is going to equal my video data dot category. And now that I have this, what's cool is uh, I fucked something up. What? Uh, I, I think you just need to import it, uh, your video data. Oh. I thought I did import it. Why not? The error that we're getting is videos data is not defined. So you are right. Did I maybe do the wrong code action? That's probably what I did. Oh. If I go to the top. Yeah, I never imported it. That's weird. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I never exported it. There you go. How dare you correct me, good sir? What? Okay, so now... Uh, IBS code has been doing this like crazy too, where it takes forever to finally give me the import or commands. Yeah. I think their new update was breaking in some way. Mm, interesting. Let's see. So now this works. 
And here's where shit starts to get cool. Because now if I want to edit my app, guess what? I just need to add another object. Well, I got my karate videos. Maybe I want my... What's the, what's the next category of videos? The titles. What? Title videos? Simple. Title? Yeah, you can... We're, we're going to make it chill beats videos. And now I can just get like, uh, let's do... Let's do a uh, trapping in Japan. I love that one. <laughs> Boom. So I'm going to go here. Share. Embed. Copy this one. Uh, and in here, we'll add that. We'll do a Another one, share, embed, boom. Boom, we'll do one more. Share, embed, boom, boom. And the great part about this is that now all I have to do is edit that thing and the rest calculates itself. And this also means that it's a lot easier to move shit around my application because now that the data is separate from the HTML that I have, I could pass that data around anywhere. So let's say I wanted to make a karate category page that only had karate videos on it. So maybe I click into here and I get all my karate videos, right? Well, guess what? I already have the data for it. So because I already have the data for it, I don't need to recreate a shit ton of code. All I need to do is pass in the data. And for each data point, I can build one thing rather than 30 things and just loop over it. Does that make sense, though? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I started getting you towards the end, especially when you said that your your HTML is just becoming the data that you're going to pass through. Yep. <laughs> for the JavaScript. Yeah, basically what I had no idea what generates... you're doing, but I, 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 I totally understood what was happening. <laughs> yep. It basically just generates HTML. So cool. Oh, yeah. Th thank you. Of course. I appreciate it. Sweet. Addy, what's this YouTube video? I walked right into that one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Rick rolled. No, oh, do you have YouTube? No. You don't have it, right? No. I'm just <laughs> Good. Well done, good sir. Well, good. well done. Great work, Daddy. Great work. Actually, I, I linked it in my SaaS project. Like the first SaaS project, I, I linked it in one of the hyperlinks. That it. I, uh, I don't the instructor saw it. I'm not sure. But if he did, I do I want to, uh, you have to instant pass. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me. Good, good work. All right. Anything else before I head out for the day? For those of you who won't be here tomorrow, have a great weekend. Keep on keeping on, as my main man Joe Dirt once said. And uh, have a great, have a great evening. Toodle, everybody. Thank yeah, you, guys. Bye. Yeah.